Hey guys, this is Rambos here, uh, casting the Grand Finals of the Gosu Cup, Lucifron vs. Heypro, and I do believe that this is a best of five, and this is game one played here on Koala, so we can see that Heypro is the red Zerg at the four o'clock position, and Lucifron is yellow Terran at seven o'clock. Now, Koolis is a fun map, and if, if you've seen any of my other games that I've casted, you know that I think this is a very fun map. It's very technical, it's very difficult. There's lots of watchtowers, lots of high ground, and lots of destructible rocks that you need to destroy to get access to a lot of these high grounds. One of the more interesting things about Koalas, in addition to the fact that it's a pretty big uh, four-player map, is that this natural right here is very hard to take early, especially as Zerg, just because Terran can get a couple of Reapers, a couple of Marauders, a Siege Tank, any sort of unit that can move up cliffs up on here and harass us especially if they take out these destructible rocks right here, so you really need to take these out before you can take that expansion, so it delays it a little bit. And alternately, instead of uh, destroying these rocks, you could destroy the ones right here and take this, which is a little bit safer because there's no high ground above it that your opponent can take advantage of. We can see that Lucifer's just going to start out with a depot. He's not going to go for any sort of a cheese. He's not going to go for any sort of an early barracks. So we are going to see a nice long game here for game one. Hey, bro, in the meantime, is going for a very late pool. Looks like he's at 15 supply already. He's probably going to go for 15 pool, 14 hatch. And just go ahead and go for that fast expand that I just got done saying was so dangerous. And we are going to see him either defend or fail to defend that here. Um, he's actually going for 15 pool and two more drones, it looks like. So we're going to see what that ends up with. In the meantime, Lucifron is adding on gas and getting his first barracks up. Both players are scouting in the correct direction initially. Heypro is just messing around with his overload over here, making sure that his opponent isn't pulling any antics with those gold minerals. Those gold minerals, you do not have to destroy any rocks to get to, so they're very accessible early game. Heypro is continuing to drone up. It does look like he is going to go for an expansion, and we can see him going for this right here. Uh, it looks like Lucifron is not adding on a tech lab yet, but he's probably going to as soon as his drone gets up. We can see that this drone of Hapro was blocking out the tech lab, so Lucifron is going to have the opportunity to go fast Reapers, get a couple of guys right up on this uh, high ground, and really just take advantage of that so that he can harass this expansion going down. It's going to be very easy for him to put a lot of hurt on the Zerg player because of that undefended area and that high ground that the Reapers can take advantage of. Hapro is coming up with his first two Zerglings right now. And those two Zerglings are going to be able to do a little bit of damage to the Reaper, but not a whole lot. If they're off of creep, and until he gets Zergling speed up, he will have a very, very hard time dealing with Reapers off of creep. Looks like the first Reaper com is coming up for Lucifer's about halfway down. Heypro has finished stealing Lucifer's gas. I'm surprised that we didn't see it cancel. And it looks like he's building two bunkers right outside of Lucifer's base. Uh, Heypro is going to come in with these first two Zerglings, and it looks like he's actually attacking the wrong bunker, the one that is not being built right now, and he's going to try to get that down. But we do see... I, I think that was a cancel off of Lucifer. I hope that was a cancel for Lucifer's sake. It does look like Heypro is being forced to pull drones to try to get this SCV down, and we will see another cancel out of Lucifer, hopefully, and there we go. It looks like Heypro is going to be able to get this hatch up in time, and this is actually going to finish very quickly, so these Zerglings are going to have a relatively easy time of dealing with this Reaper, just because there's going to be creep up all the way around, and the Zerglings are going to have a movement speed advantage over the Reaper. Heypro, in the meantime, is actually going straight for drones. He's very confident uh, holding off this Reaper with just those five Zerglings. Uh, seven Zerglings, as I say that. And it does look like some very nice micro from Lucifer jumping this up and down. Lucifer already has an orbital command, and he is starting another command center already out of vision of Haper's gas. Haper does not know what's going on. Lucifer is just using an SCV to kill that gas field. And it does look like some very, very nice Reaper play from Lucifer right here. This Reaper is at six kills already. It's ranked up. And uh, this other guy is at five, so a total of 11 kills between. I hope most of those were links, but it did look like Heypro was just producing drones right out there. And he was actually trying to get up the Spinecrawler, then the Spinecrawler did go down to those Reapers very quickly. Spinecrawlers take extra damage from Reapers because they are buildings, despite the fact that they can get up and walk around just like ancient protectors. Ancient protectors are trees, and Spinecrawlers are not, which is one of the important differences. And that's very, very important to realize if you are a lumberjack and you're just going around cutting down things. You don't want to cut down spine crawlers because spine crawlers make poor firewood. Uh, we can see that Hapro has pulled his queen from his main to his natural right here, and he's got plenty of zerglings. He's got speed being researched, so he's going to have an easier time dealing with these reapers with the queen and zergling speed. And he does have an overlord up here, so the queen can actually hit the, over uh, the reapers when they're up on this high ground. 
but we can see that, that Luciferon's putting a whole bunch of hurt on Heypro just because Heypro went ahead and got that expansion very early. Luciferon is actually just going to load up five SCBs in this command center and plop it off. He's not going to upgrade it beforehand because orbital plans cannot transport SCVs and he has not killed these destructible rocks yet. It looks like he's getting a couple of marauders in position so that he can do so. And his supply depot is down. Heypro is just going to be able to run these links straight in. Does not look like Luciferon has very much to defend. Just two marauders. Concussive shells it is on the way and it's about 75% done. It's going to finish shortly. These links are going to be able to take out this tech lab with this factor. I do hope Luciferon got off a cancel on that. He did have plenty of time and it does look like Lucifer is going to be able to recall uh, Reapers and pull SCVs and defend this quite easily without taking too many losses. I do believe those Zerglings got a couple of SCV kills, but not too many. Hey Pro, in the meantime, is just continuing to pump Speedlings, and he's going to creep up between his two bases so that he can move units back and forth. Speedlings move at light speed when they're on creep. Absolutely phenomenal speed, and Hapro does actually have an Overlord very, very well positioned here, and he is able to see that Luciferon has gone ahead and taken this expansion. So both players are even on bases, and Luciferon is doing a, a very nice job harassing. He also has orbital commands. So if we pop on over to the income tab, we can see that he does have not only a harvester advantage, but he also just has mules, which is just absolutely silly. And he's actually going to go for a starport. He's got a tech lab up, a reactor up on this factor, I'm sorry, and he's going for Hellions just because he knows that his opponent has got a bunch of speedlings just to deal with any sort of marine marauder forces. These speedlings are going to come in and put a little bit of hurt on the supply depot, but Luciferon's just going to be able to pull marauders off and deal with these very well. Speedlings are very fast, even with marauder slow research. A couple of SCVs is going to be able to hold that supply depot very well. We can see that Heypro has gone and he's beginning to drone up. Very smart move for him. But this Reaper is just doing an astronomical amount of damage. This Overlord was a little bit out of position, so the Queen couldn't attack it up on that ledge. And by damage, I don't necessarily mean that it's getting a bunch of drone kills, but it's, it's forcing Heypro to deal with it rather than move on with his game plan. Heypro is doing a, a very, very nice job of continuing on and continuing the combat units, but he doesn't have a lair. So he's got zero anti-air except for these Queens right now, and his opponent has a factor, or he has a starport, which has a uh, reactor coming down. I would have liked to see a tech lab, but even so, just these overlords are going to be able to do, um, are going to take so much damage from those Vikings. I'm sorry, I was talking a little bit faster than I was able to think there. We can see that uh, a couple of Hellions are coming in for Luciferon to do a bunch of harass on this mineral line, but there is a spine crawler coming up, and the spine crawler is going to deal with those Hellions very well. And uh, that's a lot of Hellions, but those speedlings are going to be able to get them stuck, and they're going to be able to get them down. Not without taking a whole bunch of damage, but a very, very nice drone pull from Hey Pro right there, too. So those Hellions are going to be able, are going to go down without being able to do too, too much damage. And there's a Spine Crawler there, which is going to definitely put a damper on future att harass attempts. We can see that Heypro has no idea what's going on in Lucifer's base, so he, he's going to be completely unprepared. Not Vikings, but Medivacs. I am woefully surprised. I would have liked to see Lucifer just get a little bit more intel with those Hellions rather than sacrificing them to the speedlings. Just try to run them in and see what's going on. It does look like Heypro is going to get a lair up, so he probably would be able to get Hydras up in a relatively small amount of time. And still whittling down on these destructible rocks with these Zerglings, but Lucifer knows exactly what's going on. Lucifer is going to be able to pull forces. Looks like Heypro is coming in for a little bit of a poke with these Zerglings 